shot and killed at a Garland convenience store two years ago today. The suspect, who was 14 at the time, is now believed to be hiding in Mexico. Fox Sports Davidson Tendry talked to the mother of one of the victims about her frustration. David. Yeah, Abel Acosta is still on the run. He's likely in Mexico, according to investigators. You know, these holidays, they will never be the same for the families of the victims. Everything that we do, he's the one missing there. It's now two years since Xavier Gonzalez went to a convenience store in Garland to buy tacos for his family. We all miss him. We all miss his smile. The 14-year-old never made it home. Christmas for us is not the same. Why? Because we have an empty spot. Gonzalez's mother learned on the evening of December 26, 2021, he was shot and killed. Garland's police department says it was by 14-year-old Abel Acosta. It's not fair how they took his life away. Police say Acosta also shot and killed 17-year-old Rafael Garcia and 16-year-old Ivan Noela, two teens involved in a prior conflict with Acosta. Gonzalez had nothing to do with that. He was an innocent bystander. And it's been hard for us that he's not here. Well, where is Acosta, now 16 years old? Investigators believe he's likely hiding in Mexico with help from family members. Like what kind of family are that? Abel Acosta's father, however, Richard Acosta, was convicted of capital murder in February. He drove his son to commit the murders and helped him get away. Richard Acosta's life in prison sentence is only a slight relief for Gonzalez's family. Because the person who took the life away from my son is still out there in the run. Gonzalez's family lives down the street from where he was killed. So when I drive by there, I don't even look up. I just try to look somewhere else and try to not even go through there at all. This is the last photo Gonzalez's family took together. Christmas for me and holidays are not the same no more. Now, they want to remind people to look at this photo of Abel Acosta and to call police if they know where he's hiding. So he can pay for what he did. Remember, prior to Richard Acosta's conviction, he did not deny that Abel Acosta shot and killed those three boys. Instead, he just said that he did not know his son was going to commit those shootings when he dropped him off at the gas station. Evidence suggested otherwise, and again, he was convicted of capital murder. Anyone with information on Abel's whereabouts is asked to contact Garland Police.